All right, so I'm going to show you the segmenting, which is a, a second option from the high-low with the low anchor and the knee on top going to lateral head displacement. This is going to be for the situations where you don't want to anchor in a bottom guy and take him out of the fight just anchoring down. Maybe we don't have a third guy to watch our backs, or maybe it's a hostile area. Maybe it's the environment is all glass here and we don't want him segmenting and one guy's going to go knee on top controlling his hips and the other guy's going to go on the head. I kind of just take my hands like a webbing and I put my hands right around his ear, his head. I'm going to be in the piece so all my weight's going to be on his head and if he's trying to push up I'm just pinning his head to the ground here. Okay, My job's going to be to watch his hands or watch you know the, the crowd, any of the unfriendlies. Well First job, his hips, watch his hands. If he starts to do a push up, he can control his wrist. Right? And he can still watch this way now. So if we need to watch separate ways, we can watch separate ways. If we need to disengage fast, disengage, we can both disengage and be together. So one more time. So one officer will go to the hips off of the takedown and segmenting, we're just segmenting his body. This officer is gonna control his hips with the knee on top. He's watching his arms, okay, and his hands. He can also now watch the, the area around us. Second officer is going to the head, controlling his head. Once again, we're utilizing our control points, the hips and the head. And at this point, I can watch his hands. I can watch Kurt's back. And Kirk can control the arms if he tries to do a push-up by going to the wrist ride. And if Kirk and I need to disengage because it starts, you know, someone starts to attack us, disengage and then we can come together.